everybody, this is Alex Voss, your professor at TV eCourse, and I'm excited to bring a new television series called Kids Math. Kids Math is there to help you and your child learn more about mathematics in a step-by-step, -step, easy way that emphasizes the relationship of numbers, how they are related to each other, and how it's easy to learn numbers and math when you understand the relationship, with an emphasis on doing things with your hands, making grids and charts and graphs to help your kids learn and understand numbers and their relationship to each other. Hello, welcome back to Kids Math, Class 4, Subtraction. We're going to spend a lot of fun today in this little class learning about subtraction. Let's get to it. Okay, we've done our subtraction grid. We started off with a blank grid. And here's the beginnings of our subtraction grid. And what I did was I went ahead and did some of it to show you how this would go. We put a minus sign here and then we put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 along the top. And then minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 along the side. And we said 1 minus 1 is 0. <coughs> we said 1 minus 1 is 0. And then 2 minus 2 is 0. So we knew all along this axis or this line here, we could put zeros. A 1 minus 2 it is a minus 1. A 1 minus 3 is a minus 2. A 1 minus 4 is a minus 3. So we had a trend here. So we went minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, and minus 9. Same thing here. 2 minus 3 is a minus 1. 2 minus 4 is a minus 2. Same trend. Minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, and minus 8. Now this is to help you learn the relationship of numbers and subtraction. Look at this, look at this order here. What th what's going on? 3 minus 4 is a minus 1. Again, and it continues the trend. Minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, and minus 7. Here we go, 4 minus 5 is a minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. And then, uh, you know, 4 minus 9 is a minus 5. And then 4 minus 10 is a minus 6. Same thing here, 5 minus 6 is a minus 1. And then 5 minus 7 is a minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and minus 5. See how this trend happens here when you're doing this subtraction? It always counts up in this or counts down in this direction. And right here we've got 6 minus 7 is a minus 1. It's a minus 2, a minus 3, and a minus, what would this be here? A 4. And so that's what we've learned at this point. Now, 7 minus 8 is a minus 1, 7 minus 9 is a minus 2, and 7 minus 10 is a minus 3. And then 8 minus 9 is a minus 1. And 8 minus 10 is a minus 2. And then 9 minus 10 is a minus 1. So this takes care of this part of our subtraction grid. Now what about on the other side? 1 minus 2, or 2 minus 1 is a 1. 3 minus 1 is a 2. Okay, and so what we could do is we can just count down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again, right here we start with the 1 again. 3 minus 2 is a 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3 minus, 4 minus 3 is a 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a 7. And then 5 minus 4 again is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, 6 minus 5 is a 1, 2, 3, 4, and a 5. And then 7 minus 6 is a 1. And then it goes again, 2, 3, 4. And then 8 minus 7 is again a 1, 2, 3. 
and then 9 minus 8 is again a 1 and a 2. And so now we've made our subtraction grid. So we can look on any of these numbers along the sides and we can say 7 minus 5 is going to be a 2. 2 minus 8 is a 6. 3 minus 4 is a minus 1. And then 3 minus 3 is a 0. Or 10 minus 10 is a 0. And of course we have this one here. 10 minus 9 is a 1. And so this has made our subtraction grid. And it shows you how we got it. Now, I know this is pretty easy for some of you, but for the, for the kids it's great because it's a project you can do. You can learn how these numbers are related. It's a wonderful thing. Okay. So let's go here. We've made our subtraction grid. Let's say I'm going to give you an assignment to solve the following problems using the subtraction grid. Okay? Let's zoom in and look at this fancier version of the subtraction grid. Here's our subtraction grid that I did on the computer. And here's the assignment I want to give you. Solve the following uh, following following subtraction problems using your subtraction grid. And that would be 8 minus 9, 3 minus 10, 7 minus 7, 6 minus 9, 5 minus 5, 8 minus 2, and 10 minus 10. Now we're going to do subtracting using large numbers. Let's see what we can find out here. I have 9139 minus 6027. Okay, so what we've got here, I put 9139 in the top row, 6027 in the bottom row, and if I take 7 away from 9, that leaves 2. We could do that using our, our subtraction grid we did earlier. 3 minus 2 leaves 1. 0 minus 1 leaves 1. And then our, take 0 away from 1 and you've got 1. 6 subtracted from 9 leaves 3. So the difference would be 3, 1, 1, 2. Now here's, a, here's an interesting one. Subtracting using large numbers, and we have three different numbers. And so what you have to do is you have to break it apart into 